Welcome to Frog Prince New Moon Blooms. This is our family wreath making pack. You'll see we have a beautiful pre-made wreath. This is a perfect gift for a grandmother or grandparents. Um, you can hang it on your front door, should you wish, and it can also be a centerpiece. Um, beautifully, once it's decorated, I'll show you how you could use this on your Christmas table um, or your dining table. Um, your pack will come with the wreath and you'll have a little parcel, gorgeous little parcel, and I'm gonna just push the wreath to, to the side for a minute and I'll show you the decorations that are inside. We have a very important Santa. Um, and we have cones, three pine cones. We have our pretty wooden Merry Christmas signs. Three little gold apples. I like to lay everything out and organize it just so it's easier for me to make my wreath. And reindeer, dasher, dancer, who could it be? I don't think Rudolph's here, but you never know. So. If you were gonna use this for your kitchen table, what I like to do is stand all the little creatures up so they'll all go in high. And sometimes you could ask your mom and dad we can put a candle in a vase in the center. So you could have this as a centerpiece for your kitchen table. So make the decision, are you gonna have it on the kitchen table or on the door? I like to organize and get a little bit of craft glue, PVA, school glue, whatever you have at home is really good. And I'll put it on a little plate because we're actually gonna dip our decorations into this and put them into our wreath. Um, your wreath is, can be used for your front door it can be used to gift for uh, grandparents or to keep it and display maybe for your Christmas table. Um, really gorgeous and we're gonna get started. So the first thing I like to do, I love these little reindeers. I wonder, Dasher, Prancer, who could it be? Is Rudolph in a pack, who knows? So we take the stick here and we'll put a little bit of glue on the end of it. And this is just to help it stick if you decide to use it for a door wreath and give it a bit of security. So we'll pop him in and you can see he's nestled in the branches there. I'm gonna take the next guy. There really is no order, but you can see there's a little bit of glue on the end, which will help the reindeer stay in, in the wreath. Um, there's no order, you could put three of them together if you liked, um, or you could space them around. I like to do it in a triangle shape. So we work in threes, you have three of everything, and a nice triangle shape works really well. So again, we're gonna pop this guy down, give him a little wiggle, nice and gently, because they will break. Um, the stick is just stuck on. So just remember, even if it does come apart, it's okay. He can sometimes come like this. You can take your glue and you can stick it back on then and re-glue it, no problem at all if it does break. And again, we're gonna take a little bit of glue on the end here and we pop this little guy in there. Now, what'll I work with next? There's no order, you do whatever you feel like you should do. This wreath is for you. Um, and again, pine cones. So your pine cones are a little bit different. We don't glue them. And um, we take this long wire and we're gonna attach it and wrap it around the branch. So pick wherever you want your pine cone to be. I'm gonna put it on this branch here. And I'm gonna put it to the top and then loop the wire around the back. If you need help, just ask for help. Ask one of your parents or older siblings um, should be able to give you a hand in this. Or maybe even to just help you with the first one. And again, I'm gonna lift up my branch. Where do I want it to go? I think I'd like it here. So I know I'm gonna put it onto this branch here. And we can loop it all the way around. And it's lovely and secure. You give it a little tug, not too hard. There's your second pine cone. And the third pine cone is gonna go just in here, I think. And again, this is all about you and you designing how you want it to look. And it's great to see all the different wreaths and how unique they all are. And if your siblings are helping you, you could maybe decide um, who's doing what and, and who's placing what pieces. These little things have Merry Christmas wrote on them. So again, pop your glue on the end and we're gonna stand him in here. Great. And if the glue gets on the branches, don't worry about it, it'll dry. It'll be all good. And don't forget, 
this is unique. We love to see your artwork. We love to see all your creations and how different they all are. So you can tag us, which is hashtag newmoonblooms.ie or you could ask your parent to tag us too and share it with us. Love it. Now our gold stars are next. So that's your three. Can you see those? So we have our three reindeer, our three pine cones and like a little triangle shape, you'll see lines to each one is how I like to do it, but please do it your own way. And again, these little guys, we have the three of them in there. I think I'm gonna place my apples. So the apples, you can put a little bit of glue on here and push them all the way through. Again, you can push that apple through. A little bit on the end just and we'll pop him in here, peeping out. Yeah. Gorgeous. Your stars. I think I'm gonna group these stars together. So I'll put one here. And I'm gonna put one right next to it, like this. And then the third one, I'm gonna put next to it as well. Make a little tree star pattern, so he's gorgeous there. You can see those. Um, our little seeded heads. I'm going to pop him in here, pop him in here, and we have a gorgeous Santa Claus. Have a look here, he's very good. I'd like to keep him very special. Where's the nicest place for this Santa Claus? Where do you think? I'm not too sure. I think here looks good. I'm going to put him in there. Fabulous, so nice. This is your wreath, um, ready to go. I'd probably leave it for half an hour, 45 minutes to dress. You can hang it on the door and um, your parents will be able to help you do that or you could keep it for your Christmas table and I'm going to show you if you have a little glass vase uh, or a candle. If you have a candle near the street it's important that it's in a glass and it's protected and to always ask a parent or, or elder to help you. This could go in here and what a gorgeous Christmas centerpiece, so lovely. If you'd like to add a little bit of colour or some, maybe make it really personal to you, you could see if there are any small little decorations that you can just borrow. Um, it's just for Christmas. All of these you can keep for next year. You can take this wreath apart and save these and reuse them next year. I sometimes love to add a little bit of sparkle and some colour um, into my wreath. So all I would do is take my glue, PVA glue, and give it a good dip here. Um, and I would add him in just like that. I would do the same again for my little bauble. You don't have to, absolutely no reason to, but sometimes a little bit of color just makes it pop. And we'll add this fella here. And this is it, your gorgeous, magnificent wreath. And don't forget to tag us and let us see the pictures. Um, and well done, well done everybody.